Good morning, welcome to Shady Cars, and welcome to the very first episode of This Week in the Car World. So if you've no idea what any of this means, basically it's a new series that I'm starting where every Sunday we just have a talk about stuff that's been happening in the car world, fairly self-explanatory, so if a new car comes out I'll give it a mention, if something happens we'll talk about that, and just basically that sort of thing, and it should be out every Sunday at 5pm. So. First story, not very car related I know, but this channel is now officially a year old. As of the 3rd of September 2017, we've gone through 57 videos and there's only 68 of us but we will get bigger and over 9,000 views. Which to be honest, it's a lot more than I expected so thank you for that and let's see if we can get 100 by the end of the year. So first actual car story comes from Skoda and they've announced the Skoda Kodiak. VRS. Now if you don't know what this is, basically the Kodiak is sort of like an Audi Q7, just a lot cheaper and therefore better value for the money, I mean they're pretty much the exact same car just because it's got a Skoda badge on it, it's only like 25 grand. So as I'm sure you're all aware, Skoda do this thing called the VRS where it's basically the hot version of a normal car, I mean the Octavia VRS, the Fabio VRS, that sort of thing. And now they've decided to launch the Kodiak VRS. So it's due in 2018, when we don't know, but we know it's next year. Now, because it's a Kodiak, it's a big heavy 4x4, it is a diesel only, and to be honest, I weren't really expecting a petrol version, or if, if they did, it wouldn't really sell well, so it doesn't really matter. But all that it really is, is a slightly more sportier design, I mean it's got bigger wheel arches, slightly bigger tyres, Think of it as a Tiguan R-Line of the Skoda Kodiak, if that makes sense, it's just sort of more cosmetic changes. Now, it has the same 2 litre diesel engine and it will produce 181 brake horsepower, which isn't a lot but it is many cosmetics as I've just mentioned. Now it will also do 0-62 in 7.6 seconds, which is an alright 0-60 for a car of that size and a top speed of 142 miles an hour which is again not bad I mean and I'm sure you know most BMs are limited to 155 so it's not really that much off that then whereas it's going to take a lot longer to get there now I also do 55.4 miles to the gallon which in a big heavy 4x4 is pretty good going and another birthday the Alfa Romeo 33 Stradale is now 50 years old as of the 1st of September now if you don't know what this is it's basically the best looking car in the world. I thought I should give it a mention. So a bit of gaming news for those that are interested. F1 2017 is has been announced and with it it's bringing back the classic racers. Now as I'm sure many of you are, are aware F1 is bringing back some of the old rules with bigger tyres and it's trying to take it back to the good old days of say the 80s when the cars were at the best. So F1 the game is doing the same and we're getting classic racers back and it's actually the first time in four years we've seen classic racers in an F1 game as and as well as classics we're getting some modern classics as well like Hamilton's MP4-23 McLaren which is his winning car from 2008 I'm not that big on F1 but I'm sure that's the V10 area so I'll be looking forward to driving those when they're out and as well as that we've got Alonso's Renault R26 which led him to victory back in 2006. Now the last news is a 600 horsepower electric shooting brake. I don't, I don't think many people will know what this is but it's basically it's a British electric car so that's going to end well. I think you can all remember how that ended up when they did it on top gear. Is the worst looking car in the whole world. So it's called the Alcraft GT, I believe. I'm not very good at this, but it's a 600 horsepower estate car that will do 0 to 62 in 3.5 seconds and does over 300 miles on a single charge. Theoretically, they won't do that when it comes out, but that's what they're saying it will do. Now, it is a British car, as I've already mentioned, so. I think that's a pretty good thing. Um, again, it probably won't work. <laughs> I most things British don't work, especially if it's handmade. 
Now, it's currently a 33% scale model, so all the pictures you see are just like renders of it. But, and it is made of foam, but we're probably going to get a prototype sometime next year. So that is the end of the video. I hope you like this because I enjoy making it. I mean, instead of just talking about one car, we're going to talk about loads of different cars. That, that makes sense. Um, so, yeah. So if there's anything interesting in this video, leave it in the comments and we can have a little talk about it there. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like or leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. <laughs>